So you're a beginner in Streamlabs OBS and you're like, man, I really wish there was a, a video with 10 tips of things I just didn't really know. Here is your, that video. My name is Nick, aka Loaded Wombat, and we're diving right in. I'm doing this in under five minutes. It's going to be crazy. Tip number one is Twitch's recommended settings. This is going to help you guys out so freaking much because I know you're scouring the internet trying to find the, the right settings for the right, you know, resolution you're running, bitrate, all that kind of stuff. This has absolutely helped me out. What you're going to do is you're going to go down each one of those like steps and each one of those things, put in what they tell you to put in, and then you should be fine. Now, bitrate is the exception. It all is dependent on your internet. So make sure you guys look up what bitrate you're supposed to use. You might not be able to run at 1080p, but hey, 720 is freaking pretty much just as good. You'll be fine, okay? The second tip that I have for you is text-to-speech alerts. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on your alert box then you're going to go over to whichever one you want to do it for. Let's just say subscriptions. You're going to go down below to the right and you're going to see resub message. Click on resub message and then you'll see at the bottom text to speech. Those are text to speech alerts. Those are very, very useful. People really, really enjoy those things when they're resubbing. Okay. Number three is mic filters. So for mic filters, what you're going to do is you're going to go and click on the little settings wheel next to your mic. Then you're going to go over to filters. There's two filters that I recommend that you use. Number one is a compressor. Now I'm not going to show you guys how to, uh, uh, dial these things in because you're gonna need to dial them in particular to your mic and all that kind of stuff What this is gonna do is it's gonna kind of uh, make sure you don't go too loud when you're screaming and all that kind of stuff um, But also it kind of like squeezes together like even the lower noises and brings them up a little bit The other thing that you need to do on filters is a noise gate What a noise gate is going to do is it's going to like when you stop talking or you get to a certain level of volume It'll mute the mic so that there's no mic, no sound coming through. So that's mic filters. Those are the two mic filters that I say you absolutely need. Number four is to hold control or hold alt. These two things are very, very important. So holding control allows you to move something without it snapping to a grid. So you know how it's, it's annoying when it like snaps to the middle and you're like, no, I don't want it directly in the middle. I want it off to the side or, or whatever. If you hold control, you can move that thing around freely, which is really, really, really nice. And a lot of people don't know that. And it's a lot easier. The other one is hold alt. Basically what hold alt is, is, is that's how you crop things uh, from either the right side, top, bottom, or left. And I'm going to show you guys something with holding alt that is going to change your freaking world. That is, I think it's like step seven or eight or nine or something like that. So stay tuned for that. Okay. Tip number five is hotkeys. Yes. Hotkeys. I'm going to show you guys where the menu is for this thing. All you guys got to do is go down to the settings wheel on the bottom left of your Streamlabs OBS. Then you're going to go to hotkeys and that's your hotkeys menu. You can basically click on any of these and record a key on your keyboard in order to hit and then it will trigger whatever you want it to trigger. I have a video on this, so I'm gonna put that up in the cards up here. So if you guys want more in depth on that, I've got a video on hotkeys and how to do it there. Okay, number six is sub goals. How to set up sub goals. What you're gonna do is go to sources and hit that plus sign, okay? Then what you're going to do is on the right side, it says widgets, you go to subscription goal, double click that. Then you're gonna say add a new source, add source. And then you have all the options right there in order to make a new sub goal. And it's freaking phenomenal. You can do sub goals, you can do follower goals, you can do donation goals, all that kind of stuff. All right, we've arrived at number seven, which is to crop in your camera. Now we talked about holding alt in order to crop. What I want you to do for your gameplay scene in particular. So you're basically going to like make it a little bit bigger. Then you're going to crop each side and, until it kind of fits into like your overlay or, or if you don't have like an overlay that you put your camera into or like a face cam like thing, you can just put it on the side. But what this is going to do is people are going to be able to see your reactions better to things and it's going to just be a little bit more aesthetically pleasing and people subconsciously feel more connected to you. So for tip number eight, we're going to look at transition settings. A lot of people don't know that there's different transitions that you guys can do. Obviously, you can make your own like custom transitions or get some off from online and that kind of stuff. But we're just going to talk about some of the different transitions that you have here. So what you're going to do is, is on the way left, it's not like the sources menu, but it's kind of like the main menu where it has like each like scene that you have. I guess it would be called like scene menu, the, the little like cog wheel and that has edit scene transitions. And then right here is where you can kind of make different transitions. So if you add a transition on the top right and then you can name that transition, whatever you want it to be. Number nine is YouTube alerts for Twitch. Now I have have a, uh, a video on this. So I'm going to put that up in the cards up here again. If you guys don't know how to do this, basically what you do is you sign out of your Twitch in Streamlabs OBS. You sign into your YouTube on Streamlabs OBS, and then you make an alert for the sub alert, and then you sign back into your Twitch, and then something happens to where it just, it also shows your YouTube alerts. Number 10 is scrolling text. So the way that you do scrolling tech, so say you have a scene where you have scrolling text, kind of like my main, like my main gameplay screen. What you're going to do is you're going to go to whatever like text you have there, right? So I have it for like top donor. I, you're going to right click. You're going to hit filters. So you add 
ahead and you go to scroll, one little thing that you're gonna realize is that it puts the words right behind each other. So it's kind of like one continuously long word and you can't tell what the heck it's saying. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually go to the top donor one, double click, and then you'll find yourself in this menu. And then you're gonna just put spaces after the name and that will allow there to be a bigger like space in between the scrolling and it looks a lot better. Wow, that was a mouthful. Hopefully you guys really, really enjoyed this video. That was 10 tips for Streamlabs OBS beginners. Hopefully you really, really enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. If you have any questions about anything in this video, you can always come to one of two things. You can come to my stream. I'm live Monday through Saturday at 10 a.m. Pacific time all the way to around like 6 p.m. Pacific time. Or you can come over to uh, our Discord and ask a question there and get a hold of me in that way. I've got all the socials and all kind of stuff too. They're all down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and hopefully it helped you out and hopefully it's under five minutes. Okay. Bye.